Okay, assalamu alaikum everyone. So in the previous session, we have already covered all the key concepts that you need to know about uh, normal distribution. In this particular session, what we are going to do is we are going to uh, cover, uh, we're going to actually uh, solve uh, a number of different problems that involve normal distribution, that involves and that involve normal distribution. And uh, we will see how we can apply those concepts in these problems. So we are going to start off with relatively simpler problems, but gradually uh, we will increase the difficulty. Okay. All right. So we have uh, the minimum temperature uh, in degrees uh, given here in a particular city uh, in the month of January. And we are told that it's a normal distribution. It's, it's a random variable with normal distribution uh, that has a mean of minus 15.1 and uh, a variance of 62. Okay, so that's the information that we have. We have to find the probability that the randomly chosen day in January uh, has a minimum temperature above zero degrees Celsius. Okay, so zero say upper aapka, aapka temperature hona chahiye, greater than zero, or jo minimum temperatures hai, unki jo distribution hai, that's normal, it's gonna mean is 15.1, minus 15.1. Let's write that down here. So the mean is minus 15.1 and Square of the standard deviation is 62. Okay, here we find the standard deviation we find here, that is square root of 62. Okay, so what we do now, we have uh, to find probability. Let's call this variable x, right? Or we have probability find karni hai. x ke greater than 0. Hone. Okay, now it could be greater, greater than zero, greater than equal to zero. It doesn't really matter in normal distribution because the continuous distribution is equal to sign ho na ho stick effect. Nahi padta. So this is the probability that we are going to be looking for. Now, what do we need for this? We need to convert it to convert, first convert it to uh, the z form. z square find karna. So x ki jaga. What you have is z greater than. So remember, uh, what was the formula for calculating z score? We had x minus mu divided by sigma. So what do we do? x is 0 minus mu. Mu is minus 15.1 divided by sigma, which is square root of 62. Okay. That gives us probability of z greater than. Let me uh, look for my calculator. Okay, so 15.1 divided by square root of 62. Uh, what do we get from that? We get 1.9177 from this. So 1.9177. Hum, uh, normal distribution tables are decrying it up. So we will uh, actually be looking for only three decimal places. So we can write it as probability of z being greater than 1.918. Okay, so that's what we have here. Now, how do we calculate this probability? z greater than 1.918. Okay, so I've got this table, uh, I've got this uh, curve here for normal distribution. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to represent here where 1.918 is going to be there. 1.918 is a positive number, it's going to be somewhere here. So 1.918 say greater upper probability. Okay. Remember, we have to less than the probability. So, what you can do is you can convert it to 1 minus probability of z less than 1.918. So, you can left the area. 1 minus minus, you'll get that, that particular region. Okay. Now, this is something that we can, that we can actually uh, figure out from the table now. Is form me up to pass again. Remember, up your form, you need something like this probability of z less than a positive number. That is something that we can actually see from the table. So we can call this phi of z as well. Uh, this is phi of 1.918. That's the number that we're going to be look, looking for from the table 1.918 ka phi. Let's go to the table. Table jacket. This is my table 1.918. Okay, so what do we do? We start from this 1.918, 1.9 this is 1.9. 
and then we have one so that's one in in se hamare paas ye number aa gaya right 0.9719 ab wo kya karna hai 18 8 pe jana hai you go to 8 there is row ke sath mein dekho ja ke 8 pe aapke paas kaun sa number aa raha hai that's 5 so you need add 5 there so what do we have here 0.9719 This is one number that we are getting. Point nine seven one nine, or end pe aapko five add kar dena. What do we get? Let's go back there. Point nine seven one nine plus five. You can do that here on the side. Point nine seven one nine. End pe last digit pe end pe aapko last two digits me aapko add kar dena. Five yahan pe add karoge. What do we get? We get zero point nine seven. Two four, so that's what that's the value of five of point nine one eight. You input that here, and you see what you get from that. One so one minus zero point nine seven two four, and you can evaluate this from your calculator. This turns out to be zero point zero two seven six, and that's the probability that we were looking for. Okay, point zero two seven six. Okay, good. Let's look at another one. All right. So we have the times taken by students to get up in the morning, and they can be modeled by a normal distribution with the mean twenty six point four. So that's the mean, and standard deviation three point seven. This is the standard deviation. So the mean or standard deviation they have. Now for a random sample of three hundred and fifty students, find the number who will be who would be expected to take longer than twenty minutes to get up in the morning. ओके सो हमें सबसे पहले क्या करना पड़ेगा वी विल हैव टू फाइंड द प्रोबेबिलिटी दैट समबडी टेक्स मोर देन 20 मिनट्स टू गेट अप इन द मॉर्निंग सो वी हैव अ नॉर्मल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन वी हैव अ नॉर्मल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन दैट फॉर व्हिच वी हैव द मीन गिवन द मीन इज 26.4 वी हैव द स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन गिवन सो दैट इज 3.7 सो वी वर फर्स्ट नीड टू फाइंड द प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ एनी वन रैंडम स्टूडेंट एनी वन रैंडम स्टूडेंट टेकिंग लॉन्गर देन 20 मिनट्स right so we are actually looking for probability if we call this variable x we say x is greater than 20 we have to find this probability a probability of x being greater than 20 okay so that's what we're looking for again we apply the z formula z square wala formula and apply karenge iska equivalent z value figure out karenge so we have p of z greater than x minus mu So that's twenty minus twenty six point four divided by three point seven. Okay, you evaluate this and you see what you get. You are getting going to get z greater than. If I do this on my calculator, I am getting minus one point seven three zero. Okay, so now we've got this. You have to see now the normal curve here. Over, I've got this curve here on the side. Uh, you will be drawing this on your paper, of course. I'm just going to draw it. Okay, you'll see. Okay, negative number here. So negative number is going to come on the left side here. Here, 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 here The symmetry of the normal distribution curve. अगर हम कहें The number I'm here for this is minus one. Saying we could look at plus one point seven three here, plus. So we can actually change this to we can change this to something like this. We can say this is probability of z less than one point seven three. Right, that's the same thing. Okay, I'm now using formula convert earlier. Z less than something positive, and now we can just look at this. I look at the table and find this value. We're basically looking. For five of one point point seven three zero, आपके पास कहाँ पर आ रहा है? ठीक है, three zero. 
Okay, let me erase the previous thing. 1.730, yeah, my bus kid, I've got 1.7, this is 1.7. And then three here, you get this number here. I get the zero, at which add printing is worth thing. This is the number that you're looking for, 0.9582. That's the probability that you're getting here. 0.9582, let's write that here. Now, this is the probability of one person selected randomly uh, being uh, more, uh, taking more than 20 minutes to get up in the morning, right? They can say, for 350 students, how many would be expected to take longer than 20 minutes? So, a key probability 0.9582, the expected number. The number of students that uh, who are likely to take lo longer than 20 minutes. I'm sorry, this number ko multiply kar denge, kis ke saad? 350 ke saad. So number of students who are expected to be taking more than 20 minutes, that's going to be 350. Multiply by the probability of taking more than 20 minutes, that's 0 0.9582. And you see what we get from this? 350 into 0.9582. This gives us 335.37. 335.37. But since the, these are the number of students, we can actually uh, write it as 335. Okay, so that's the number of students who are expected to take more than 20 minutes to get up in the morning. All right. Okay, let's move on. Let's move to another question. So let's say we write something like this now. It is given that there's a variable y that is normally distributed with mean 33 and variance 21, right? Square of standard deviation, that's 21. We have to find the value of A given that Y, the probability of Y being between 33 minus A and 33 plus A is 0 0.5. Okay, so now the variable Y has to be between two numbers. So how do we think about this? variable y being between two numbers. Achha, again, hum kya kar sakte? we can either first convert it to uh, z-scores, right? so that's that's one thing that we could think of, or before, uh, or we could actually just think of it before converting to z-score as well, that's actually our choice. If I were to do it like that, let's think about it, so 33 minus a minus 33, uh, that will give me minus a over that. Uh, you can do it either way. Yeah, so let's actually change it to z scores first. So what do we have here? We've got probability of y being less than 33 minus a, being greater than 33 minus a, and less than 33 plus a. Y has to be between these two numbers. I'm going to do it we will convert it to z-scores first. Okay, so that becomes probability of z being between. So this number minus the mean, mean kya 33. So we have 33 minus a minus 33 divided by the standard deviation which is square root of 21. On the other side, we've got 33 plus a, this whole number, that's, that's our x or you can say that's our y, 33 plus a minus the mean divided by the standard deviation with the square root of 21. Okay? Now that tells us, that basically gives us minus a over square root of 21 and uh, z, that's less than a over square root of 21. Okay? So this is what we have in terms of Z. This is the probability of Z being between these two numbers. Okay, now we can think of the graph. So I've got the sketch here on the side. I'm going to copy that here. So let's take a hey, this probability is actually equal to 0 0.5. This is equal to 0 0.5. The probability is 0 0.5 to equal here. So minus a over square root of 21, this number is going to be somewhere on the left side here. 
have exact value to me, but that's key, of course. It's somewhere on the left. We don't know where exactly. So I'm going to just mark here somewhere. Okay, so minus a over square root of 21, you have to be or if you have to the right side, you have to the right Remember, these are the same numbers. If you have to the left, you have to right side. We are basically told if this is minus a over square root of 21, and this is a over square root of 21, so this the region, this is the region of the This is the region of the region. This is the region is 0.5. This region is 0 0.5. Now, what does that mean? Since they are equally distant from the center, Joppa's right side will number, left side will number, they're equally distant from the center. What that means is, the right side the area, which I can share in different color, the green area is right side, and the green area is left side. How many are they? They are going to be 0.25 each. Maybe 0.25 inches. Or this is 0.25. Okay. We said that this probability is 0.5 equal. So we can change it change it to something that is relatively simpler. Now this is a reverse version, right? So we basically have the probability given. And what do we do? Original Z value. We can write it as probability of Z being less than a over square root of 21. Same thing, what are we doing? That, okay, this is the left of the total area. How much is the value of the left of the total area? 0.5 plus 0.25. That is 0.25 plus 0.25. That is 0.75. That is 0.75. So, we have seen this value. A over square root of 21. You can think of it this way. That on this left, how much is the total area of the total area? That's 0.75. Okay, single inequality convert rather than those two in two different inequalities. We have that form exactly. form we have z less than a positive number. Since we have z less than a positive number, that means phi of a over square root of 21 here is basically equal to 0 0.75. Okay? Now what do we do? We will go to the table. We will go to the table and see that we have 0.75. Let's go to, go to the table. Now remember, we have the probability given. So the number that we have given there, that's the probability. This number is probability. So you have to reverse the value of the z value exactly what will happen to Okay, so we go to the table, 0 0.75. We look for that, where is that exactly? 0 0.75, 0 0.75, it's not like it was given, it's not like it was given, it's not like it was given. What you can do is, you can use the standard method for this. 0 0.75, you're getting the exact value, but you're not getting the So what you do is, you take a number that's immediately less than 0 0.75. So you've got one number here, you've got another number here. So what will you do? You'll take this number here. 0 0.7486. 0 0.7486. Go what do you have here? 0 0.6. And there you've got 7. So one thing has come here is 0 0.67. Okay, I'm going to write that there. 0 0.67. So this is the thing. You've got 0 0.67 here. What about the third decimal now? 0 0.7486 में कितना you have to add 14 here, right? And end पे आपको last two digits के अंदर 14 add करोगे, आपको 0.75 exact मिलेगा. So we go on the right here and we see 14 कहाँ पर आ रहा है? 14 नहीं आ रहा, but 13 is the number that's closest to it. 13 के ऊपर हम देखते हैं यहाँ पे क्या है? We've got four there. So what do we do? We go back and we add a four there. So हमारे पास जो वजह z value है वहाँ से that is 0 0.674. Okay, now what will we do? We will say a over square root of 21 here 
a over square root of 21, this should be equal to 0 0.6745 why? because we saw from uh, the table that phi of 0 0.674 is actually 0 0.75. That means this, these two numbers have to be equal, a over square root of 21, this has to be the same as 0 0.674. Yeah, we will take the value of 0.674 into square root of 21. Let's see what that is. 0.674 into square root of 21. And that gives me 3.089. Or you can say 3.09. That is the value of A that we were looking for. Okay. So we saw a couple of questions initially in which we had to in which we had a z value, we could use the probability find for anything. Now we had the probability value and we had to go back and find the value of z from that. Okay. All right. Let's move on. Let's have a look at another question. Now we have a random variable x that has the length of time in minutes uh, that this person takes to mend a bicycle puncture. Now this random variable x has a normal distribution with mean mu and uh, variance sigma square. Okay, so that's what we are given. And we're given P of X greater than 30. Let's actually write that down here. P X, probability of X being greater than 30 is equal to 0 0.1480. And the other piece of information that we have there is that the probability of X being greater than 20.9 that is equal to 0 0.6228. Given these two pieces of information, what we have to do is we have to find the value of mu and sigma. So mean or variance up to find karna hai is distribution. Okay. So how are we, how are we going to do that? First of all, we convert this x to z. It's come standard form. We can say it's z less a z greater than 30 minus mu that's x minus mu divided by sigma that is actually equal to 0 0.1480 similarly there we've got probability of z being greater than 30 i'm sorry 20.9 minus mu divided by sigma this should be equal to 0 0.6228. Okay. Now the problem is we need to understand, we need to figure out that number is negative or positive. Hai. And that will basically come from this understanding that you have the probability exactly how many are. So I've got this normal curve here. I'm going to have it for the first one. I'm going to copy that for the second one. As well. Okay, first of all, let me the probability of z being greater than a particular number that is equal to 0 0.1480. Okay, if any number is greater than the area, which is the right side of the area, that's 0 0.1480. Okay, if the number is here, then the area is 0.5 from the right side, which is 0.1480. Because this is 0.5 from the right side. This means that this number will be a positive number here, which is right side pe jo area hai, that is less than 0 0.5. So we are basically given that this area here is 0 0.1480. Okay? Now this is greater than only form. Hai, and we know that this is a positive number. Okay? Now we can't see it directly from the curve. So what do we do? We have figured this out, figured out here. कि ये जो नंबर है हमारे पास ना ये पॉजिटिव होएगा ठीक है अभी अभी हमने सिर्फ क्या किया ये हमने फिगर आउट कर लिया कि नंबर पॉजिटिव होएगा दिस नंबर हैज टू बी पॉजिटिव ठीक है क्योंकि उसके राइट साइड पे एरिया 0.5 से छोटा है सो ये नंबर ये मिडिल के राइट साइड पे आ सकता है कहीं अच्छा सो दैट्स वन थिंग सो व्हाट डू वी डू नाउ टेबल में तो हमारे पास कैसे वैल्यूज होती हैं लेफ्ट साइड पे पॉजिटिव नंबर्स सो व्हाट वी कैन डू इज वी कैन एक्चुअली राइट इट लाइक दिस वी कैन से इस अगर ये रीजन 0 0.1480 है तो इसके लेफ्ट वाला रीजन कितना होएगा इट विल बी 1 माइनस दिस थिंग 1 माइनस 0 0.1480 तो हम क्या कर सकते हैं हम इस प्रोबेबिलिटी को चेंज करके ऐसे लिख सकते हैं वी कैन से प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ z लेस देन 30 माइनस म्यू डिवाइडेड बाय सिग्मा दिस इज 1 माइनस दिस थिंग 
ताकि आपके पास लेफ्ट वाला सारा रीजन आ जाए दैट्स बेसिकली ऑल ऑफ दिस रीजन वन में से माइनस कर दोगे आपके पास लेफ्ट वाला रीजन आ जाएगा उसको सो वी से दिस इज 1 माइनस 0.1480 एंड नाउ वी यूज द स्टैंडर्ड प्रोसेस वी से uh, 5 ऑफ 30 माइनस म्यू ओवर सिग्मा दिस इज इक्वल टू 1 माइनस 0.1480 इफ यू हैव टू फिगर आउट व्हाट दैट इज 1 माइनस 0.1480 This gives me zero point eight five two, zero point eight five two zero. Now I need to go to the table and figure out what the z value for this should be. ठीक है मेरे पास zero point eight five two zero जो है वो किस z value के लिए आता है ताकि मैं इसके साथ compare करके एक equation बना सकूँ. Okay, point eight five two zero. Remember, it's a probability. इसको probability देखना है. Uh, इनके दरमियान में कहीं आ रहा होगा वॉट इज दंबर दैट रिक्वायर एट फाइव टू जीरो अच्छा लेफ्ट साइड वन Above there, we've got four. So we are basically getting one point four from here. One point four आ गया हमारे पास. इसके बाद बाकी देखते हैं अभी in a moment. So we've got one point four. इतना तो लिखना है यहाँ पे. Sorry. Uh, let me go back here. Actually, one point zero four. So we had zero there as well. So I missed that. So this is one point zero, one point zero, and then four there. So that's one point zero four. One point zero four. Then we have to look for the third decimal place. Remember, our my pass number was point eight five two zero. Here, what did we see? Zero point eight five zero eight. How much add to add? To get point eight five two zero, twelve add to add. So we go to the right side. Twelve is there. It's right here, and we've got five on top there. So our pass is third decimal place. Here, we'll come to. That is going to be five. So one point zero four five. That's what we get from here, and this gives us an equation like this. We get thirty minus mu divided by sigma. That's equal to one point zero four five. Yeah, my pass. One equation. Here, sir, again. Okay, thirty minus mu divided by sigma. That is equal to one point zero four five. Similarly, we'll do something similar on the other side there. It's, remember, it's a five-mark question, so it requires some working. यहाँ पे हमारे पास क्या है? Probability that z is greater than something. Probability that z being greater than something is equal to zero point six two two eight. That's what this probability is. तो किसी number से ज़्यादा होने की probability point six two two eight है. क्योंकि ये probability zero point five से बड़ी है. इसका मतलब ये है कि यहाँ पे अगर होगा तो इसके देखे right side पे area zero point five से कम है. So it has to be on the negative side there. नंबर जो है हमारे पास यहाँ पे क्यों होना चाहिए इसके लेफ्ट साइड के ऊपर ताकि उसके जो राइट साइड वाला रीजन है हमारे पास वो कितना बन जाए वो 0.5 से बड़ा हो जाए सो दिस इज व्हाट वी एक्चुअली हैव बट अगेन हम ये चीज डायरेक्टली तो नहीं निकाल सकते टेबल से हमें क्या चाहिए एक तो हमें ये हमें पता चले कि नंबर नेगेटिव आ रहा है इसको पॉजिटिव होना चाहिए और ग्रेटर देन के बजाय यहाँ पे लेस होना चाहिए फिर हम टेबल देख सकते हैं तो क्या करेंगे इसको हम फ्लिप कर देते हैं ठीक है वी से Rather than looking at something like this, this probability or this area is actually the same as this area. Again, right side पे उतने ही magnitude का एक line यहाँ पे बना दो उसी distance के ऊपर right side के ऊपर और इसके left वाला region में देखो right something like this. अगर मैं ये region देख लूँ तो इसका ये भी एरिया मेरे पास इतना ही होना चाहिए ठीक है तो क्या करना पड़ेगा मुझे आई विल से प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ जी बीइंग लेस देन समथिंग बट लेस देन व्हाट अब देखिए ये पहले नंबर नेगेटिव था इसको हमने पॉजिटिव करना है हमें पता चले नंबर नेगेटिव है इसको पॉजिटिव करना है इसको पॉजिटिव कैसे करेंगे या तो बाहर नेगेटिव लगा दें पूरे के साथ या फिर उसको न्यूमरेटर वेंटर चेंज कर सकते हैं दैट्स बेसिकली म्यू माइनस ट्वेंटी पॉइंट नाइन डिवाइडेड बाय सिग्मा 
ठीक है उस नेगेटिव नंबर को हमने क्या किया हमने पॉजिटिव नंबर बना दिया नाउ दिस इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स टू टू एट अब क्या करेंगे अभी हम वैल्यू जाके नाउ दिस इज द पॉजिटिव नंबर वी हैव लेस इन साइन देयर ये जाके हम कैलकुलेट नॉर्मल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन टेबल पे देख सकते हैं वी हैव फाइव ऑफ न्यू माइनस ट्वेंटी पॉइंट नाइन डिवाइडेड अस सिग्मा दैट्स इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स टू टू एट ठीक है अब पॉइंट सिक्स टू टू एट जाके ढूंढना है आपको टेबल के अंदर इनके दरमियान में जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स टू टू एट ठीक है हम इससे छोटा वाला नंबर लेंगे That's the number. We've got one on top, and we've got point three on the left side. So point three one. ये तो हमारे पास आ गया वहाँ से. Zero point three one. So we have five of zero point three one. We we've got that that much. But we need the third decimal now. Seven. 17 and 28 कितना डिफरेंस है 28 minus 17 11 तो राइट साइड पे जाते हैं 11 यहाँ पे इधर आ रहे हैं the number that we put above is three so we have another three there with that so three one three that is equal to 0.6228 ठीक है now what we do is we equate both of them we say this thing is the same as this thing and that gives us mu minus 20.9 divided by sigma That is equal to zero point three one three. That is another equation that we get from here. अब क्या करेंगे? अब ये हम जाके देख लेंगे. Uh, इसको evaluate कर लेंगे. Uh, ये हमारे पास दो equations आ गई. Mu minus twenty point nine uh, over sigma. That's equal to zero point three one three. We've got that equation. We've got this equation. Two equations are both linear. हैं. Uh, अब इनको simultaneously solve कर लेंगे. You can make sigma the subject in both of them, and then Uh, just equate them, या फिर आप इनको एलिमिनेशन से सॉल्व कर लें हाव एवर यू वॉन्ट यू कैन डू इट आफ्टर दैट आपस न्यू और सिग्मा की वैल्यूज आ जाएंगे ठीक है ओके गोइंग टू मूव ऑन हियर लेट्स वी हैव अ रैंडम वेरिएबल एक्स दैट इज नॉर्मली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड विद मीन म्यू एंड स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन सिग्मा वी आर गिवन दैट फाइव सिग्मा इज इक्वल टू थ्री टाइम्स न्यू ओके ये हमारे पास म्यू और सिग्मा का रिलेशनशिप दिया हुआ है। वी हैव टू फाइंड द प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ एक्स बीइंग लेस देन टू टाइम्स म्यू। सो दिस इज व्हाट वी आर लुकिंग फॉर प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ एक्स बीइंग लेस देन टू म्यू। ये प्रोबेबिलिटी हमें फिगर आउट करनी है ओके हाउ डू यू फिगर दिस आउट वी से लेट्स फर्स्ट कन्वर्टेड टू समथिंग इन टर्म्स ऑफ जी सो वी हैव प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ जी बींग लेस देन टू म्यू सो जो भी वैल्यू थी माइनस द मीन मीन इज म्यू डिवाइड बाय द द स्टैंडर्ड डिविएशन विद सिग्मा दिस इज व्हाट वी आर लुकिंग फॉर ठीक है नाउ व्हाट इज व्हाट डू वी गेट फ्रॉम दिस वी गेट प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ z लेस देन प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ z लेस देन म्यू ओवर सिग्मा एंड नाउ व्हाट यू कैन डू इज वी कैन आइदर सब्स्टिट्यूट mu equals something in terms of sigma or sigma equals something in terms of mu however we want to do that we can say let's find mu here which is going to be 5 over 3 sigma theek hai we have to jaake input kar de mu ki jagah 5 over 3 input kar de 5 over 3 sigma that gives us z less than 5 over 3 sigma divided by sigma 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 cancel ho gaya we left with probability of z being less than 5 over 3 theek okay. hai we have the standard form less than bhi aa raha hai positive bhi aa raha hai that's actually something that you can directly find from the normal distribution table this is 5 of 5 over 3 theek okay. hai in fact we can write it in decimals 5 over 3 aapko decimals mein kya aayega it will be 1.6 
यू हैव बेसिकली द वैल्यू ऑफ जी और आपको प्रॉबेबिलिटी फाइंड करनी है ठीक है तो साइड्स पे देखेंगे यहाँ पे वन पॉइंट सिक्स इन गॉड वन पॉइंट सिक्स हेयर एंड सिक्स हेयर वेर डू द मीट वी हैव दिस नंबर हेयर पॉइंट नाइन फाइव वन फाइव एंड देन सेवन दैट्स हेयर सेवन हमारे पास किधर आ गए दैट्स आज थ्री दिस वन उसके नीचे ठीक है सो इनको मैच कौन सा कह रहे हैं दिस वन एंड दिस वन सो वी एड सेवन एट द एंड हेयर सो पॉइंट नाइन फाइव वन फाइव ठीक है uh the second part of this with a different relationship between mu and sigma that means this relationship does not hold anymore five sigma equals three mu ab wo nahi hai it's some some something different it is given that probability of x less than mu over 3 is 0.8524 express mu in terms of sigma okay let's think about this probability of x less than mu over 3 let's write that down here probability of x less than mu over 3 that is given to be equal to 0.8524 0.8524 okay now we think of the normal distribution curve lekin 0.8524 left side pe area hai right it's a less than sign तो किसी नंबर से लेफ्ट साइड के ऊपर द एरिया इज पॉइंट एट फाइव टू फोर तो नंबर राइट साइड पे होना चाहिए राइट साइड पे ये वाला एरिया आपके पास आ रहा है लेफ्ट साइड पे मतलब इसके लेफ्ट साइड पे टोटल एरिया कितना होना चाहिए दिस शुड बी जीरो पॉइंट एट फाइव टू फोर हाँ राइट पहले एक्स की टाइम्स में उसको जी की टाइम्स में करना पड़ेगा पहले सो दैट जी लेस देन म्यू ओवर थ्री माइनस म्यू डिवाइडेड बाई सेक्ना and that equals 0.8524 theek okay. hai what is this give us this gives us probability of z being less than minus 2 mu over 3 divided by sigma and that equals 0.8524 theek okay. hai this is what we get from this and uh, what do we do now we simplify this and that gives us probability of z less than minus 2 mu divided by 3 sigma that is equal to 0.8524 theek okay. hai this is what we get in here acha ab kya karenge since this is दिस इज ग्रेटर देन जीरो पॉइंट फाइव तो बाकी पहले वाली रीजनिंग वो ही रहेगी पॉइंट एट फाइव टू फोर है इसका मतलब ये यहाँ पे कोई राइट साइड पे नंबर उसके लेफ्ट साइड पे जो रीजन है सारा दिस इज जीरो पॉइंट एट फाइव टू फोर दिस रीजन इज एट पॉइंट पॉइंट एट फाइव टू फोर एट मीन दिस नंबर इज अ पॉजिटिव नंबर जो है वो नेगेटिव आ रहा हो मीन आपका नेगेटिव हो उसकी वजह से दिस नंबर बिकम्स पॉजिटिव सो नाउ वी लुक फॉर This thing in the normal distribution table is to take the z key value. What is it? So we essentially have phi of minus two mu over three sigma equal to zero point eight five two four here. Okay, yeah? that's phi of minus two mu over three sigma. Now we point eight five two four. We go to the probability table. We see. We saw it earlier. Okay, point eight five two four. That's going to be between these two numbers. Zero point eight five two four. It's a small number. Look at this. See what you have on the left side. One point zero, and you got one point zero four there. Four four above, so that's one point zero four. Okay. And then we have eight. We have 
आपके पास म्यू के वैल्यू आ गई इन टर्म्स ऑफ सिग्मा ओके ऑल राइट गुड so that was a good one let's have a look at another one this is uh, yeah. so this also requires yeah so this is binomial approximation now okay so in scotland in, in november on average 80% of days are cloudy assume that the weather on any one day is different from the weather on other days so aapke paas ek dusre ko affect nahi kare these are independent events 80% of the days are cloudy right so cloudy hone ki probability kya hogi it's 0.8 right acha we have to use the normal this normal approximation to find the probability of there being fewer than 25 cloudy days in scotland in november and we have 30 days uh in the month of november okay अभी असल में तो ये बाइनोमियल है देखें इंडिपेंडेंट इवेंट्स है सारे राइट और वो रिपीट हो रहे हैं तरह से डेज राइट डेज रिपीट हो रहे हैं तरह थ्री डेज इन टोटल सो एवरी डे इज इंडिपेंडेंट और आपको देखना है कि कोई स्पेसिफिक नंबर ऑफ डेज जो है वो क्लाउडी अह हो या उससे कम या उससे ज्यादा सो यहां पे आपके पास क्यों के प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ देयर बीइंग सीज है 0 1 2 3 4 ऑल All the way until 24. मैं से कुछ भी possible हो सकता है। अब अगर आप binomial से करोगे, that's going to take a lot of time, right? अब सारी probabilities अलग-अलग calculate करके, या भी even if you would do the other way around, आप क्या करते हैं? 25, 26, 27, all the way until 30. की probability find करते हैं, उसके बाद में से minus करते हैं। Even that's a lot of work. बस छः सात probabilities आपको अलग से करनी पड़ती हैं। So what we are given here is आपके normal approximation आप use करना। आप normal approximation कैसे use करते हैं? Remember? Binomial के अंदर what is the mean? Mean is n times p. हम क्या करेंगे? हम पहले mean निकालेंगे। कितने दफा आपका n क्या number of number of days uh, that this is being repeated? That's thirty. N is thirty. Probability of success. Success यहाँ पे क्या है? We are looking for cloudy days, right? So cloudy days की probability क्या है? Eighty percent. That's zero point eight. So we say three. No, sorry, thirty. Into zero point eight, what does that give us? That gives us twenty four. So that's our mean. Okay, this is the mean value. Now the second thing that we need is the standard deviation. Remember, our pass. What is the variance of a normal distribution? That's n p q. N is thirty uh, again. P is zero point eight. If p is zero point eight, q the prob probability of failure. This one is zero point two. In the multiply case, so we have twenty four into zero point two. Uh, that turns out to be two point four and four point eight. Yeah, so that's four point eight. This is the variance. The standard deviation kya hoga? Ki square root of this four point eight. Kya agar ap square root kar loge, that's your standard deviation. Okay. So what do we need now? Fewer than twenty five cloudy days. Now be careful here. Binomial is a discrete distribution. तो वहां पे हम क्या बात कर रहे हैं बेसिकली सेइंग एक्स शुड बी लेस देन 25 25 इसमें इंक्लूडेड नहीं है 25 इसमें इंक्लूडेड नहीं है तो कंटिन्यूटी करेक्शन आपको करनी पड़ेगी 
नॉर्मल के लिए सबसे पहले रिमेम्बर देर टू पॉसिबिलिटीज राइट या तो ट्वेंटी फाइव पॉइंट फाइव करना पड़ेगा या ट्वेंटी फोर पॉइंट फाइव करना पड़ेगा या लेस देन ट्वेंटी फोर पॉइंट फाइव लेस देन ट्वेंटी फाइव पॉइंट फाइव अब देखिए अगर ट्वेंटी फाइव पॉइंट फाइव करते हैं उसके अंदर ट्वेंटी फाइव इंक्लूड इंक्लूड हो जाता है राइट सो वी डोंट डू दैट ट्वेंटी फोर फोर पॉइंट फाइव करेंगे तो उसके अंदर द मैक्सिमम इंटीजर दैट वी हैव इज ट्वेंटी फोर सो दैट्स वॉट वी डू हियर ठीक है वी से वी हैव दिस इक्वेलेंट टू If we were to do normal distribution, this will change to x being less than twenty four point five. ठीक है ये हम continuity correction करके हमारे पास ये आ रहा होगा. ठीक है. Now once we have this, we first have to convert it to z point. What do we get there? We have z less than twenty four point five minus the mean. The mean is twenty four divided by sigma, which is equal to four point eight. Right. The rest of the process is pretty, is pretty straightforward. I mean. Yeah, find the probability of z being less than zero point five divided by square root of four point eight. We'll see what we get from that. That is zero point two two eight. Zero point two two eight to three decimal places. Yeah, we'll just go and see. Look, ah, in the distribution, we have a less than sign. We have a positive number. So we can directly do it. This is just going to be phi of zero point two two eight. We'll just go and see. In the table, what value comes in the table? Value? Point two and then two. That's this value. Point five eight seven one, and then zero point two two. What was it again? Go back to again. Zero point two two eight. So this point two two eight. That's going to be here. This eight, and we are getting thirty one from there. Thirty one is going to add. Going to end in the last two digits. So what will happen? It becomes Zero point five eight seven one plus three one at the end. Zero point five eight seven one. Let three one add. Kar diya. What does that give us? That gives a zero point five nine zero two, and that's the probability. Zero point five nine zero two. Okay. Acha. Now, what we have in the next part? It says, give a reason why the use of normal approximation is justified in this case. So remember, normal approximation. We just can do it when two conditions are met, and those two conditions are that your n p should be greater than five, and n q should be greater than five. Only then normal normal approximation uh, is justified. It it gives you uh, a fairly accurate estimate. So we have to check here. Yeah, these two conditions meet. Ho rahi hai. We will have to check them. Now, what will you do? What is the value of n? Here, thirty. So you got thirty into p. P was zero point eight. You can see what that turns out to be. That's twenty four greater than five, which is correct. N thirty and q was zero point two. That gives us six greater than five. So since both n p and n q are greater than five, that is why this approximation is justified. Okay, in this case, can the you can approximation be justified? So that's the second part of this. Let's have a look at another one. Okay, it is known that on average, two people in five in a certain country are overweight. Two people in five are overweight. That means the probability of somebody get being overweight. What is that? That is the zero point four. That's two over five. A random sample of four hundred people is chosen using a uh, using a suitable approximation. So again, approximation की बात किया है. So binomial to uh, normal approximation. Find the probability that fewer than one sixty five people are in the sample are overweight. Okay. So approximation में क्या करते हैं? We remember mu equals n times p. N क्या है? The what's the what's the what's the repeated thing here? We're talking about people. Four hundred people are being chosen. So n is four hundred. What is the probability of success here? Combine it. Overweight log. Overweight is sort of you know you can say it's it's uh, your success being overweight, right? So what is the probability of being overweight? That's two over five or zero point four. We're calculating four hundred into zero point four. Uh, and that gives you 160. That's the mean. What about 
the variance that's NPQ, N is 400, P is 0 0.4, and uh, Q is 0 0.6. You evaluate this. So 160 into 0 0.6, what is that? That is uh, 96. So the variance here is 96. If the variance 96 says, what does that mean? The standard deviation will be that is square root of 96. Okay, so we have to find the mean or uh, standard deviation find really. It's the normal approximation. Key. Now, what are we looking for? Probability that fewer than 165 people in the sample are overweight. Fewer than 165. So 165 included. Nahi hai. We are saying x less than 165. Okay. We've got two options. Yeah, the 165.5 looks up there. Yeah, 164.4 uh, 164.5 looks up there. Are you 165.5 less? Kahenge, usme 165 aajega, include ho jayega, which we should not be including. So, kya karenge? it should be probability of x less than 164.5 because that will exclude 165 then, and that's what we want. evaluate karna. So X key terms may we converted to in terms something in terms of Z first. So Z is less than 164.5 minus the mean. What's the mean here? The mean is uh, 160 divided by Sigma. Sigma is square root of 96. Evaluate curling calculator say the probability of Z being less than this thing. Let's evaluate this. So this turns out to be 0 0.459 to three decimal places. Three decimal places are the same. What will we do? We will go and see. Again, we've got the standard form less than RA or positive number here. So that's a fairly simple thing to look for. 0.459. Okay, let's go to the table. Okay, 0.459. Remember Z key value. 0.4, then 5. That gives us this number here. And then 9. That's here. That means we have to add 32 to this. That's 32 at the end. So 0 0.6736. 0 0.6736. Or let me just check again. Point six seven three six. Yeah. Point six seven three six plus three two at the end. That gives us zero point six seven six eight. So this probability therefore is zero point six seven six eight. Think okay, that is what we were looking for here. Okay. What next? Uh, yeah. So that's it. So that was a fairly straightforward one and pretty quick one as well. I'm just approximation of pi key or the distribution table probability Let's have a look at this one. Uh, again, it's uh, something to do with approximation. A survey of adults in a certain large town found, uh, found that 76% of the people wore a watch on their left wrist, 15% wore a watch on their right wrist, and 9% did not wear a watch. A sample of 200 adults was taken. So, Ek adult calculus information here, 200 adults. Ki baat ho rahi hai. So, what is n here? n is 200. Using a suitable approximation, find the probability that more than 155 wore a watch on their left wrist. So, left wrist ki probability kya hai? 76%. Okay, so 0 0.76. Okay, so what do we do now? We have uh, we have to again use normal approximation. Mean kya hai? n times p, so that's 200 times the probability of success, which is 0 0.76 here. That's p, because my success sample case defined it. People who wore, who basically wore a watch on their left wrist. That's our, uh, that's, these are the people that you're actually looking for. Unki probability kya hai? Unki probability is 0 0.76. So mu kya aage yaha pe? 200 into 0.76, that's what we want, 152. Isi tarah se aap variance nekaal le, n, p, q se, 
So that is 200 into 0 0.76. If P is 0 0.76, Q is going to be one minus that, which is 0 0.24. Yeah, value it here. 152 into 0 0.24, that is uh, 36.48. And then again, standard deviation is square root of that, 36.48 because square root. What are we looking for? The probability that more than 155 people wore a watch on their left wrist. So what we're looking for is probability of X greater than 155. Okay, again, it's a discrete distribution right now. We're talking about number of people. This will approximate karna padega. Uh, iski continuity correction karni padegi. So again, we've got two options. 154.5 was like 155.5 was like 154.5 se greater hoga agar. So, we have to include more than 155. 155 is included. So, 155.5 is included. So, we have include more which, which would be correct. We have to include more than 155. We choose 155.5 there. Okay. Now, again, we find the Z value. It's Z greater than. 155.5 minus 152 divided by square root of 36.4. Yeah, my best guy, Jacob, probability of Z greater than something. Let's evaluate this 155.5 minus that's 3.5 divided by a square root of 36.48. So, we're looking at 36.48. And that gives me 0 0.579 to three decimal places. Okay, now what is going to do is we the normal distribution tables. We can directly do it because we have a greater than sign here. Normal distribution table will not give us this value directly. So now we have to think about this a bit. We look for this curve. Look at this curve. It's a positive number, right? So probability of Z being greater than this positive number, a positive number In fact, it's 0 0.579. It's the right side. It's the region. It's the same thing as saying one minus this region. I'm finding uh, one minus the region on the left of this, right? We can left all the region find curves. One minus of one minus five thing. Our pass here right side will region as right. So that's what we do here. We change this to this form. We change it to this form. We say this is this should be one minus probability of z less than zero point five seven nine. Less than banadi. We have made it positive. So we thought earlier that we are we are seeing in the table what is happening. Point five seven nine. Value at the probability the one minus phi of 0 0.579. Let's look for this value from the table 0 0.579. 0 0.5 and then 7, that's this number here, and 9 here, which is 31. Okay. 0 0.7157. Point seven one five seven. It's my three one art What do we get? We get zero point seven one eight eight. So we have one minus zero point seven one eight eight here. So the probability turns out to be zero point two eight one two. That is the probability that that number is greater than one fifty five. The number of people who wore a watch on their left wrist. Okay, let's have a look at another one. So we have a couple more that we want to do. Okay, in tests on a new type of light bulb, it was found that the time that they lasted followed a normal distribution with standard deviation. Uh, the, the time they last followed a normal distribution with standard deviation given, and that standard deviation was, uh, 40.6 and 10% lasted longer than 5130. I'm a standard deviation theory or I'm a snake piece of information. They can miss 10% they lasted longer than 
longer than uh, five one three zero hours. Okay. So, uh, yeah. So this is the information that we're given. Uh, standard deviation is forty point six, and ten percent lasted longer than five one three zero hours. Find the mean lifetime giving your answer to the nearest hour. Mean find karna hai using this information. Achha. So normal distribution hai, standard deviation di hoi hai. Yaha plek lehte hai, standard deviation is 40.6. So 10% lasted longer than this, this number. So basically, you are given whatever the variable is. The probability that that's greater than 5130 is what? 10% 10% is essentially 0.1. Okay. Now, if you look at the uh, look at the curve, probability of x being greater than something is 0.1. Okay. So 0.1 say greater. Actually, super z we convert earlier. Before we have to do this, let's convert it to z first. We have z greater than 5130 minus the mu divided by sigma, that's 40.6. This is equal to 0 0.1. The probability of z being greater than something is 0 0.1. So, z on a it should be on the right side here. That left right side wala area skip, skip hai, chota hai, 0 0.1. Now, the right side region the main call set the table say. हम इसको क्या कर देंगे हम इसको उल्टा कर देंगे हम कहेंगे कि इसी पॉइंट के लेफ्ट वाला रीजन शुड बी 0.9 एंड 1 minus 0.1 सो वी चेंज दिस टू समथिंग लाइक दिस वी से z लेस देन 5130 म्यू डिवाइडेड बाय 40.6 शुड बी 1 minus 0.1 व्हिच इज 0.9 एंड नाउ वी हैव दैट स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म We've got less than sign and a positive number. We can write it as phi of 5130 minus mu divided by 40.6. That's equal to 0 0.9. Hum kya karenge? Ja ke table mein jayenge. Uh, or your value dekhenge. Hamare paas ya asli mein kya ni chahiye. Now remember, if the probability that we're given is 0 0.9. Probability 0 0.9. Ye z value nahi hai. Ye probability hai right side pe jo hai. Iske against hume z value dekhne hai. You go to the table, 0 0.9 exactly. Okay, let me erase the rest of the stuff first. Okay, 0 0.9. You can't put our table. Okay, it's going to be between these two numbers, right? It's the number of number, 0 0.99 and 0 0.8997. Okay, so 0 0.9 and 0 0.8997. Okay, we are looking for 0 0.9. So that's 0 0.9000. That is what we're looking for. Achha. Uh, is the left side constant number? Aare? It's 1.2. Upar kya raha hai? We've got 8. So that's 1.28. Write that here. 1.28. Achha, abhi 9, 7 mein kitna add karenge? Toh 0, 0 ho jayega. 3 add karna padega to get that thing exactly. So right side bhi jake dekhte hai. 3 kaan par aare? We don't have three anywhere here. Don't know if it's a game. So, um, uh, in the man matter, so we've got two here and we've got four here. And the numbers that we brought above are one and two. So, up don't know if it's a random, koi bhi choose kar sakte ho. it doesn't matter. Kick up, it's got two, one bilak sakte ho, up it's got two bilak sakte ho, up it's got one five bigger system. Right? So, I can take, for instance, one five here, one point two eight one five. That's also fine. Yeah, but one, one, two, me se koi bhi ek lado, for example, one bhi le sakte hain, is tarah se two bhi le sakte hain. Both of them will be fine because it's not close to any one of the two numbers. Point one, point two, eight, one, five earlier. Go back there. This is one point two, eight, one, five. Kya hai? Yahan se kya aayega? We get an equation. I know that this thing is actually this. So we have five, one, three, zero minus mu. 5130 minus mu divided by 40.6. This should be equal to 1.2815. You can evaluate this. Uh, I'll do this quickly. So 5130 minus mu divided by 40.6. Okay, so this is what we get. This is 1.2815. Okay, so 
1.2815 and 240.6 mu ki value of course aa jayegi 5077.97 which is 5 hours that means the probability that uh this is less than five, the prob probability of uh it lasting less than 5 right that's what we have to figure out now we have the mean already mean humne figure out kar liya hame kya find karna hai so we find karni hai probability of x being less than 5000 theek hai that's what we're looking for so z value nikal lete hain it's going to be z less than 5000 Minus mu, which is five zero seven eight, divided by the standard deviation. What is the standard deviation? The standard deviation is forty point six. This gives us probability of z less than something. Let's see what that ends out to be. So this is minus one point nine two one. Yeah, you have to evaluate it now. Again, what we should do is we should have a look at this curve because it's not not the standard one. Less than to aaya, but it's not positive. Nahi hai. On this normal distribution curve, we see negative number on the left side. So one point nine two one on the left side. This is the reason that we need. Okay. लेकिन हम डायरेक्टली तो नहीं कैलकुलेट कर सकते वॉट डू डू सबसे पहला काम क्या करते हैं कर देते हैं पॉजिटिव साइड पे तो लेना है इसको वी एक्चुअली नीड दिस रीजन हियर ठीक है तो वॉट इज दैट रीजन गोइंग टू बी दैट रीजन इज गोइंग टू बी प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ जी ग्रेटर देन वन पॉइंट नाइन टू वन ठीक है ये रीजन भी उतना ही होगा अब ये रीजन कैसे कैलकुलेट करें लेफ्ट वाला सारा रीजन निकाल लें वन में से माइनस कर लें ये आ जाएगा ठीक है सो व्हाट डू वी डू वन माइनस प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ जी लेस देन वन पॉइंट नाइन टू वन दिस इज व्हाट वी लुकिंग फॉर सो एसेंशियली वन माइनस फाइव ऑफ वन पॉइंट नाइन टू वन दिस इज व्हाट वी बी लुकिंग फॉर वन पॉइंट नाइन देखते हैं टेबल में वन पॉइंट नाइन वन पॉइंट नाइन टू दस नंबर हियर इसके बाद वन वन के आगे हमारे पास ये वन आ रहा है में वन ऐड कर दें एंड के ऊपर दैट बिकम्स सो वी हैव एंड दैट गिव्स अस दैट्स द प्रोबेबिलिटी ठीक है ओके Now let's look at uh, the third part. Now it says a hospital buys six hundred of these light bulbs. Okay, up six hundred light bulbs. Le le ne. Using a suitable approximation, find the probability that fewer than sixty five light bulbs will last longer than five one three zero. Okay. Now let's think about this. अच्छा हमारे पास मीन क्या आ रहा था पहले मीन वाज फाइव जीरो सेवन एट दैट वाज फॉर लास्टिंग दैट मच नाउ वी हैव अ डिफरेंट नॉर्मल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन राइट सो व्हाट वी हैव इज व्हाट वी आर कंसीडरिंग नाउ एज अ सक्सेस इज लास्टिंग लॉन्गर देन फाइव वन थ्री जीरो दैट इज व्हाट वी आर बेसिकली लुकिंग एट राइट नाउ फाइव वन थ्री जीरो से ज्यादा लास्ट करना उसकी प्रॉबेबिलिटी हमने क्या फाइंड की हुई थी पहले दैट प्रॉबेबिलिटी वाज इनफैक्ट उसने दी हुई थी प्रॉबेबिलिटी ऑफ लास्टिंग लॉन्गर देन फाइव लॉन्गर देन फाइव वन थ्री जीरो आवर्स दैट्स बेसिकली टेन परसेंट सो दैट्स योर प्रॉबेबिलिटी ऑफ सक्सेस था ओके तो आपकी आपकी पी की वैल्यू यहाँ पे क्या आ रही है 
this is basically what we're interested in. The probability of lasting longer than 5 and 3 zero hours. That is 0 0.1. 10%, that's 0 0.1. That's for one bulb, right? We have 600 of these light bulbs. So n key value 600. Here we approximation. We first find the mean n into p. n is 600 into p, which is 0 0.1. And that gives us 60. Similarly, the standard deviation that NPQ, so N is 600, P is 0 0.1, Q will be 0 0.9. So that's 16 to 0 0.9, which is 54. So that's sigma square, actually. So sigma tends out to be square root of 54. Okay, what do Probability that fewer than 65 bulbs will last longer than this. So what do we need? We need probability of X being less than 65. Again, what do we need to do with continuity correction? 65.5, if we do 65, it will come in. It will not come in. 64.5. 64.5, therefore, x less than 64.5, as we've been doing before, this can be converted to a z-score, which is 64.5 minus 60 divided by square root of 54. We get some value of z there. So that's probability of z less than. Let's go to my value. What do we get? So this is 0 0.612. Now this is less than sign. This is positive. This is directly phi. So that's phi of 0 0.612. Yeah, uh, table so they close the value calc 0.612 kyo. Okay, so we go to the normal table. 0.612. So 0.6 and then one. That's this number here. And we have got two here. Two can each we've got seven. So 0.7291 plus you know seven at the end. So that's 0.7298. Zero point seven two nine eight. That is what we were looking for. That's the probability that we wanted. Right, so that's point seven two nine eight. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, it's been uh, a pretty long session, so I'm just gonna have a look at the next questions. Okay. Uh, all right, so uh, it's, it's going to take quite long if I cover those as well, Al although these are very good questions. So maybe I'll do them in another session. You can have a look at the, look at these, try these questions. These are good ones. They will give you good practice. So try this, this question that you have on your screen and also try this one. Okay, but the concepts are the same. Uh, you should be able to attempt these. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next video. Alas.